Welcome to the Stash and Notions podcast coming to you from Bacchus Marsh in Victoria, Australia. My name is Penelope and you can find me on both Ravelry and Instagram as Miss Red Pen. Today is Sunday the 2nd of October 2016 and this is episode 5, Tales of Woe and Woe. How are you going? I hope you're doing a lot better than I am. As you can hear from my voice, um, I'm still carrying on a bit of illness from the previous episode. Ended up getting um, an aggravated bronchial tubes. Um, had a few hours in the emergency room on Friday. And basically, yeah, um, I've got to take it easy until I get better. Hasn't had the best effect on my knitting either, which I will cover off a bit later when I talk about my works in progress. Um, this this particular episode is going to be a bit different to my usual episodes. I'm not going to cut it up into the segments and stuff. I'm just going to go through and cover off everything as quickly as I can before my voice gives out. The first thing I'd like to talk about, though, is the knit along that we're hosting here on the podcast. It's called the Transitions Cow, and it's happening in both the Ravelry group. If you're not a member, you should probably hop on over to Ravelry and join the Stash Notions podcast group. And it's also on Instagram. So I'll pop the um, the hashtags um, for you to use on Ravelry up here somewhere. And it is running through until the end of the month. For this knit along you can make whatever you like as long as you think it is a suitable item to take you through from your current season to the next one so for us here in the southern hemisphere from spring through to summer or for the northerners from autumn through to winter um, there will be a couple of prizes to give away um, some of these stashed notions tins that I've been putting together and I have um, shown it on the previous episode and I might pop a little picture onto Instagram as well. Um, so yeah, I'd love to see what you're working on if you are participating in the if you are participating in the knit along, do pop over to the 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 group or onto Instagram and show us your current work in progress. So, um, yeah, so I have been working on a project for this one as well. It's not going quite the way I expected it to, and again, I will cover off on that a bit later. Next thing I thought I would talk about is what's on the rack today. So this is the Waiting for Shawl, Waiting for Rain Shawl that I have been working on for the last little while. Yes, it's finally blocked, and... Today is its maiden wear, so um, it's it's actually quite good. Probably a little bit cool for the weather we're having right now. Um, it's supposed to be spring, but Mother Nature didn't get the memo. We have had some of the worst weather that we have had in September, I think, on record. Um, we've had floods in part of this, the state. It's rained just about every day at some point. You wouldn't know it today. It's a beautiful day outside, but a bit windy. We did lose power before, so I'm hoping that that doesn't happen again until I've finished recording and saved the files. Um, yeah, and so it's meant that work has been really interesting. I work in a um, team that, when, when Mother Nature is being a bit cranky, things get a bit busy for us, so I won't talk about that too much more here but it has meant that a lot of people have been out of the office in other places um, I might stop talking about that have a sip of water and then move on to the next segment we want to talk about the one finished object that I have I can't show it on screen because I've already given it to its recipient but I can show you the yarn that I made it from um, this is what's left. I, I made a little baby hat and I will put the single rather bad photo that I snapped of it at the last minute um, in here so you can actually see it. Um, it's a little baby hat that I made for our amazing admin assistant who's gone off 
on maternity leave. Um, I, this is the um, Debbie Bliss Baby Cash Merino, so it's um, I think it's a five ply. It could be a DK weight eight ply um, blend of merino, cashmere, and a little bit of acrylic. Um, and yeah, so I used exactly 25 grams, so I've got 25 grams left to make a second one and send to another friend who is expecting, I guess, early next year, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to make it up and send it to her. I'm not sure if she watches the podcast, so it may or may not be a surprise, um, but let, if she doesn't watch it, let's not tell her. <laughs> um, right. So that's all I've managed to finish in the last couple of weeks. I have been working away on a few different things. The first one being the failed, terrible, everything going wrong mountain lily scarf that I was making for my Transitions Knit Along project. Right now it's looking like this. That was the tin come from the yarn hole at Singing. Yep, yeah, it's pulled off the needles. Um, frogging it back for like the fifth time and I think it's going to go in the the sleepy pile and I'm going to pick it up at some future point and not continue on with it for the knit along. Two reasons for that. One, um, I just, because I've been sick, my concentration levels have been a bit crap and I've messed up the, the lace a few times and had to rip back and that's a bit of a pain because it's a very complicated lace. But not only that, once I finally did find the rhythm and was going okay, I then had a massive coughing fit and pulled half the needle, stitches off the needle. And yeah, I thought, no, let's, let's tackle it again when I'm feeling better. And so I have, um, the fates have, you know, aligned everything and I have a new pattern that I'm going to wind off and start on this afternoon. Um, the yarn that I'm going to use is one that I got at Bendigo this year. It's from Thimble and Pearl and it is her top shelf DK in the um, Bure Violet Beauregard colorway. And the pattern that I'm going to use is a new one that's come out from Shara Lambeth who does the Shara, um, What Shara Made podcast and it is called the Strata Shawl. So she says it's a nice quick knit and looking at the instructions it looks like it's not going to be too bad so I've just folded those away for copyright um, reasons. It is a paid pattern but it's, it's in Australian dollars so awesome. Thank you Shara as a fellow Australian for actually posting things on RAV in our local currency. So I'm actually looking forward to getting into that because it looks like a fun knit and being a DK weight, it should knit up fairly quickly and I'll still get it done by the end of the month. Um, and I don't know, um, actually Shara is running a bit of a knit along for the shawl as well over on her podcast and Ravelry group. So I'm not sure if I can double dip on that one. So um, I will check. And Shara, if you do watch this and see it before I manage to post over your way, let me know. Um, so I'm really excited about getting started on that one because it is, you know, it's a it's a pretty pretty yarn and an interesting pattern, and um, it will make a nice change from the struggles that I've been having with the mountain lily scarf. The other um, work in progress that I'd like to show you is um, some socks. I am doing these two at a time. Um, and I think it would be fair to say that I have spent more time working on the maths for these socks than I have actually knitting them to begin with. So um, I started off using a pattern from the book that's called Bigfoot Knits. Let's see how that shows up there. Bigfoot Knits. Um, but my foot is, it's wide, but... Um, yeah, so I had to kind of figure out the toe that I wanted to do and the pattern um, that I'm using calls for an afterthought heel and I didn't want to do an afterthought heel because I'm using my sock blank with the gradient and I didn't want to use a different part of the yard for the um, 
heal I wanted it to all sort of flow on so I've kind of had to figure out which is the best heal to do on that and um, you know figure out where I need to stop the pattern and do the heal and then keep going that kind of thing um, now the reason I'm doing a toe up rather than the top down which has been every other sock I've knit so far is because of the sock blank itself um, so what this is it's the two strands of yarn that have been knit together so that you can knit the socks matching and um, yeah I could have pulled it apart and then started at the other end and knit from the top down but I wanted to have a go at knitting straight from the sock blank and see how it worked it's actually kind of fun um, and as you can see I am knitting them on the double circulars now the pattern name I've forgotten what it is so I will just pop it in here somewhere and um, yeah let you let you know how it goes. The, the yarn's been good to knit with. I have been splitting it a little bit as I go but again I don't know if that's just because concentration levels are short or that's my special gift <laughs> for knitting. Um, but yeah that, that's kind of where we're at. Okay I'm going to take a very quick break. We've got coughing fit coming on so I'll be back in a minute. Well that wasn't my idea of a good time. Um, so I don't actually have any new acquisitions or stash stories for today. I thought I'd better save up on the talking um, about stash stories for another time when I sound a bit better. And um, the, the one last thing I did want to talk about is um, the little, I guess you call it a project along happening on one of the other podcasts I watch called Bunny Fish Crafts. Um, it's basically for UFOs now for people who aren't familiar with that term it's unfinished objects so it's something that you started and you put it away and haven't worked on it for quite some time so I have pulled one of these out it is a UFO that I started oh, two years ago and it's been probably almost two years since I last worked on it now where did I put it oh I'm gonna have to oh here it is um, so it is a vest, it's a bottom up vest that I started and it's meant to be in reverse stockinette stitch and I've done done about as far as the waist shaping but it's too big and I'm bored with it and I'm unhappy and I'm just it's kind of do I oh I have started this, the shaping for the sleeves I've done a bit more than I thought I had um got a couple of options I guess I could keep going and have it it's meant to be like reverse stockinette stitch so you wear it on the bumpy side but I don't like the bumpy side so could I keep going and wear it inside you know wear it this way or you know with it being too big should I just rip it out and use the yarn for something else I don't know what do you think let me know and in the next episode we will either announce whether we're whipping it or ripping it um yeah i i can't decide what to do it sat there for so long it's kind of you know project inertia and yeah i'm sort of in this point where i've got all these little ufos sitting around the place that something needs to be done with them and bunny fish has given me the motivation to finally face up to these no no not looking not looking all right let's look kind of things that are going on um so we might have another one to look at next time um okay it sounds like my voice is about to go on holidays uh i think i guess i'd better wrap it up so i do apologize for this not being the best episode that we've made um but if you want to see some more from me in the future please um, like this video subscribe to the channel you're nearly at a hundred guys and um yeah join join the Ravelry group um let me know how you're doing I do I really do hope you're doing a lot better than I am and we'll see you again in a fortnight bye